live. We've never been live. <laughs> Good evening, good evening, good evening. I am Lady Martinique and coming to you live from Martinique Manor. We have had such technical difficulties, I cannot even begin to tell you. Um, we've had technical problems, we've had guests not able to log in, and then we thought we were live. We've been live for like the last 15 minutes, and then someone said, you're not live. So, very quickly, I just need to say that tonight we have a murder mystery an absolute murder mystery you can play along you can decide who you think the murderer is if your name is liz waldron stop telling everybody it's me because it mightn't be we don't know who the murderer is we have no idea about who the murderer is but we are planning on having a jolly good time this evening as we enter into another lockdown mania myself and five other queens, myself, Pepper, and four other queens actually, have decided to bring you this murder mystery. Now, COVID restrictions. So instead of acting it out live on stage or being able to present it live to you on stage, we are having to do a read through. Now, none of us know who the murderer is. None of us have any clue about anything like that. And I'm just chatting shit and filling time right now because that bloody pepper spray hasn't even bothered to rock up yet. She's supposed to be in charge of the whole evening. Can you tell how the evening's going to be going? Oh, hang on a minute. I think I can smell her now. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. Oh, here it it's comes. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's trick or treat time. It's trick or treat time. Yeah. What's this? It's my trick or treat bucket. For what? We were going trick or treating. We are doing a murder mystery. You're supposed to be in charge of this whole bloody thing. No wonder all the guests are up in arms. Sorry. Haven't had their scripts mailed out to them, their character sketches. Some of them haven't even got a bloody costume put together. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, really. I haven't even got any sweets either. <laughs> Thank you. Consider yourself sweeted. Oh. Now don't sorry. open those fucking wrappers in front of me. We're trying to do a murder mystery. I'll try my best. Now, we're going to go through very quickly and welcome all our other guests. You've obviously come as Day of the Dead. But something that's not dead is our viewership, ladies and gents. We have gone up by 1,500 extra people since uh, two weeks ago's episode. So two weeks ago, we were seen by 3,400 people within the week. This week, we are very pleased and very, very um, honored. grateful, honored, mm -hmm. blessed to say that we've been seen by 4,900 people. Now that's more than Pepper has fingers on her fingers. Fingers on her fingers, exactly. On mm -hmm. her hands. So. 
We're already on 4.9 for last week. We want you to like and share this broadcast. Yes. Now that we definitely are live and we definitely have all <laughs> our guests with us, let's go to our first guest, Miss Flexi Bell. Darling, Flexi. sweetheart, so sorry. We were offline, weren't we? we so were. Flexi here tonight, she's looking gorgeous. She's looking glamorous. Stunning. And we will be catching up with you in a moment. We're going to do a very quick run through so we can try and get back on track. But thank you for being here this evening, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having Going me. Going now to London, to our sister, May Kit Rain. May, you look gorgeous. Loving yes. the jewels, babe. Loving the jewels. Thank you. You've got them out. Oh, and the boobies. Don't forget the boobies. For the boys. They need screen oh, okay. time, honey. They need screen time. They do. They cost me enough. <laughs> I was going to say, make it, make it pay. Never mind, make it rain. Make it pay, honey. Make it pay. You look absolutely gorgeous, my darling. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and agreeing to to take part in this amazing murder mystery. I can't wait to see who did it. Oh, I think it's this one. I, I think it's the pretty one. The who? The pretty one. Oh, the pretty one. So Don't you come remember? for my drag daughter? Don't you come for my drag daughter, honey? I'll take Ooh. my earrings off. Ooh. You mean she's the pretty one? Right? <laughs> 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 I was talking about you, Lady Martin. Oh. And May, just quickly, we're going to do a shameless plug, aren't we? So Wednesday, May is joining me as my guest on Tea and Shading. It's our face paint and chat shit about all the queens tonight, dealing the gossip, honey. And uh, May has graciously agreed to join me out of drag, and we will show you the transformazione in a two-hour stint. She's telling me she thinks she can get it down to two hours. She's not sure. We'll try. Well, we hear you do a great Mrs. Doubtfire. We'll have to have her on as well soon. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So we'll see you in a moment. Bye. Miss Claire Midia joins us from Wales. Yucky Lady Chlamydia <laughs> Cockfrog. Hello, darling. You muted. Hello. Yes. Hello, I sister. Remember. How are you? I'm not bad, thank you. I'm doing all right on this spooky night. Now that we yes, exactly. I mean it's just it's just ridiculous. I don't know where Fanny's run off to, but Fanny's run off now. But um we are it's just such a ridiculous evening. Uh, I mean, you know, as as we were saying earlier in the pre-show. Um, Pre-show tickets are available every week, guys. You can buy tickets to watch us uh, get Panic. dragged up and, and do our makeup and Go chat mad. and carry on. But in the pre-show, we were saying, Claire, weren't we, that we just didn't have enough time tonight. Uh, no. Being absolutely busy. But you are looking gorgeous as ever. Thank you so much for being here. All the way from Wales. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, well, by way of Manchester originally. And we <laughs> are looking forward to your performance this evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you in a moment. See you soon. And now the one, the only, the lady herself, the only fucking Fanny Craddock. Hello, Ta -da! darling. Yeah. Hello, oh, Fanny. Lovely. Hello, Fanny. I had How to. Oh, you just. I'm all right, thank you, darling. There have been all sorts of technical troubles, haven't there? All over the place. And where's a lesbian when you need one? All us gays are like running around, and non-binary, are running around doing our thing. All of us are sending messages backstage frantically. Um, all of us are also supposed to have our microphones off. And... Uh... <laughs> <More> <laughs> You can hear puffing and puffing coming from behind. But we're here. We're here now, aren't we? We are. We oh, made it in the end. It's so lovely to see you both as well. And thank you for having me on again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are we are so honoured to have you back again. As we know, you have a very busy schedule with all your appearances and all your, you know, your you. your charitable activities that you do. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, great, yeah. great, great to have you back here again. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, we're not okay. going to read many of the comments tonight. We're already sitting on like 300 comments. We're going to just carry on and try and get this murder mystery done. Mm -hmm. So um, without further ado, we're going to pop you backstage for a moment. 
and I think we are going to bring everyone back together when we do in a moment. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm going to hand over to Pepper, who's going to run this entire evening. We promise to read through all your comments afterwards. Please do like and share this. It's a free broadcast. It's a free broadcast. Please yep. do like and share this. Um, we would love, love, love to get over 5,000 for next week. That was actually our goal. Uh, the other night when we were having a production meeting, we said we'd like to get to 5,000 for this episode. However, not realizing that last week's episode has probably now hit 5,000. So we're well on our way. Let's try 10K. Why not? Why not? Go for it. 10K. It's not like anyone's got anything better to do. We're all going into and bloody if lockdown. And all of those 10K gave us one pound each. We could buy makeup for yes. all the girls. Hey, girls, make up for all the girls. <laughs> One pound donation. I mean, that's all it would take times 10,000 of you. Right, so boys and girls, without further ado, we're going to get show. started. I just need to know where I'm supposed to go. Right, to... so back into brand. Oh. Now, we, we, we got a special guest star to play the detective for us. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yes. The lovely Mr. Spray. Pepper Spray's, I nearly said betrothed, Pepper Spray's partner in crime, or is he, <gasps> is uh, taking on a role for us because as with most things, with these murder mystery scripts, you usually end up with some voice recordings and they weren't phenomenal, although we love the script, mm -hmm. the script we haven't seen, none of us have read it. None of us know what's going on. We're all going to just follow along. So the premise of this evening is it's a read-through for a murder mystery. However, it is still a mystery and there is still a murder. So let's get going. <laughs> Pepper Spray, over to you. Yes. Well, oh dear. There's been a murder. And the detective. It's been a murder. Good evening, girls. I am Detective Inspector Hugh Jorgen. I've been sent to the grind this evening to discover the truth behind Ivor Merkin's demise. Ivor, as you know, was the owner of the grind, the club you girls all dance in. This evening, he was apparently found in your dressing room, trussed in tit tape and with a feather boa around his neck. Our first thoughts were that it was some sexual gameplay that had gone horribly wrong. It's surprising how often that happens. However, I've been assured that his death isn't accidental and he wasn't in fact strangled, as was initially believed. The coroner is away examining his body at this very moment, which I'm sure she's enjoying, as he was in fine shape. I guess he needed to keep fit to throw out the drunks who make their way in here from time to time. Now, I believe you girls had a show planned this evening. Much as it pains me to say it, I'm afraid you're going to have to call it off. You see, I need your help tonight to work out what happened to Ivor. Someone at this venue knew where he would be and they somehow managed to overcome him. The question is, why was he killed? We're still examining the crime scene at the moment. Don't worry, I promise I'll get the lads to keep their hands off your accoutrements. In the meantime, perhaps you'll be good enough to introduce yourselves properly to each other and kick off the inquiry with a little questioning of your own. If you can work out who the likely suspects are amongst you, it will save me a great deal of time later. Anyway, I'll leave you to it for now and see if I can get some more WPCs in on this case. We'll be here all night, the rate the lads are moving through things. Toodle Pip! Well. Yes, for those who didn't hear, um, due to sound problems, uh, the nightclub owner, Ivor Merkin, has been found dead. Oh. Uh, he's got tit tape wrapped around his neck. Tit tape? Yes, and a feather boa. Mm. So, uh, yeah, the police want us to all introduce ourselves and move on with the dialogue. So, ladies, if you go to page three of your booklets, that will have your introductory speech on. And I think I'm starting. Well, I guess as resident calm pair of the grind, I should kick things off. Welcome, ladies. 
to the world famous burlesque venue, The Groins. And also this evening's murder mystery. We might as well call it Bump Off at the Grind. It sort of has a nice ring to it. Your compere for tonight is me, Snappy O'Shea. So, can I have a big Aruga from everybody? Aruga! 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 No, no, that wasn't good enough. Go on, you'll have to do it again. One, two, three. Aruga! Aruga! Well, I guess that'll have to do. So, on to the next speaker. I'm not sure Aruga is particularly appropriate right now, Snappy. Ivor is dead. It's a tragedy, not something to be celebrated on stage. I'm Rosie Cheeks. Most of you will have seen me if you haven't actually met me. I clean up of the acts on stage. I think you'll be cleaning up after Le Merda ce soir. Although blood is a little harder to sweep up than glitter and feather. Alors, c'est terrible. I, Kitty Lamuff, only saw Ivor earlier this afternoon, and now he is dead. It gives me the shiver. It gives us all a shiver, Kitty. I don't know what I'm more upset about. The fact that Ivor is dead, or the fact that he's dead in one of my dressing rooms. I'm yeah. Scarlet Von Rouge. I run a very tight ship backstage. And this sort of thing is unheard of. Ask any of my performers. I was the first man ever to get backstage, not just the first dead body. <gasps> not exactly true, Scarlet. You forget the Boylescos. I know what you mean, though. No one except performers are allowed in the dressing room. Even the boyfriends have to wait outside. You won't even let me, Fox Dealer Frash, the grind for talking in their pre show shots. I have to take them all in the wings. Well, she's let me in there, but only because the bottles of spirits are stored there. It's the safest place in the building, thanks to Scarlet and Gillian Tees. I work the bar. And with I have a dead, the bar is free tonight, so I'll be taking orders now. Everyone has finished introducing themselves. Have a think about what you'd like. On to round one. So Rosie, start with your script. What do you make of the imposter, Inspector? Well, the minute he walked in a giant i could see he was a man of distinction not exactly a big spender though on a policeman's salary hey darling detective inspectors make a reasonable amount don't they more than the bar staff at any rate well i think he is rather sweet huge jogging sounds scandinavian don't you think it didn't sound like he was from there to me but he sounds like he's worth getting to know wherever he's from. Shame he's not in uniform, though. Detective inspectors never are. Then again, a man in a well-fitted suit is just as nice, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. It's the overalls that turn me on. Our flight suits give me a Tom Cruise in flight suit any day. <sighs> <sighs> Too small a waist. I like them broader. Well, Hugh Jargon certainly sounds broad. Uh, it's a shame about tonight's show being cancelled. I was really looking forward to seeing all the acts. Me too. We had some big hitters tonight. They all had a gimmick. And you gotta have a gimmick. Yeah, to be a success, you gotta have a gimmick. Oh, just be talented, darling. Oh, uh, come on, you two. Ain't it great that we can earn our pay just by shaking it away? Too right, but the audience has got to earn it, right? Whenever we're applauded, they're rewarded. 
Isn't that what you say in your warm-up intro, Snappy? Something like that, but with a few more colourful words. Come on, let's see if we can do what the inspector said and start the inquiry. Or, with or without, an aruga! Does anyone have a question for me? How long have you worked at the grind? Oh my God, I've been here so long. It's like since it was opened. And um, have you worked with Ivor for long? Well, yes, I was here when he started. We both started it together. Hmm. Rosy Cheeks. Why did you join the Grinds Burlesque group? Oh, well see the thing is I've, I've admired all these actors for, for so long and I kind of have a secret act of my own but I'm I'm too scared to, to actually do anything about it so you know sweeping on stage gives me the chance to to see these amazing acts that I can't do myself it brings me close to the action so you want to be a burlesque dancer oh, it's my dream I'd love nothing more than to be a burlesque dancer but are you happy in a supporting role I mean, I guess, but I've always wanted to be a star. Ah, uh, come on, Rosie. I've seen you gazing wistfully at Ivor. Did you have a crush on him? Well, I would be lying if I said I didn't think he was dashing. But I don't know. I don't know if he'd go for anyone like me. Kitty? Oh, have you performed oh, at the grind before? Well, I only arrived at lunchtime, you know. I was greeted by Ivan himself. So I've only danced here three times before, and that was all today. Hmm. Gillian, do you like working at the grind? It's not a bad job. I kind of like working here. It's easy, easy to come by. Does anyone else have any questions? Well, I should ask Gillian Tees, how long has, uh, well, I should ask Scal <laughs> no, I, I, I have had too much absence, darlings. <clears throat> I had absence this afternoon. I, I did a dance with a big bottle of absence and it has gone straight to my head, you know. More absence like, makes the heart grow fonder. More like absent fucking minded. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, it is where I come from. We have to do mm -hmm. these things. Gillian Keith, how long have you worked at the grind? I've only worked here a couple of months. It uh, it's easy work to come by, and uh, you know, he wasn't a bad old bloke to work with. So, a couple of months here and there, while it keeps me quite fluid, I can move around as I wish. Uh, Scarlett, how long have you yeah. known Ivor Merkin? Well, I've known Ivor all my life because Ivor's my dad. So, yeah, I've known him, but he left He left me and my mother when we were free. So, when I saw him again at the grind, I don't think he recognised me with all the makeup and accessories. Oh, I see. And uh, while we're at it, Foxy, what do you do with all the photography you take at the shows? You're always snapping about. Well, there's a strict etiquette between uh, the burlesque circuit, you see. No one is permitted allowed to take photos apart from myself and the other professional photographers. Um, this is to prevent the compromising and unflattering photos leaking onto the internet that the performers don't want to be publicized. So, yes, yeah, so quite a number of these professionals have taken their day jobs and they need to keep their private lives separate. It's one of the reasons the less dancers use fake names instead of their real ones. Hmm. Does everybody ask all their questions? I have one more question. One more Go question. Go ahead, Fanny. Scarlett Von Rouge, do you enjoy working in the grind as a wardrobe cat? 
I do. I really enjoy it, especially since Snappy O'Shea asked me to draw in a troop. Her troop is gave me the perfect opportunity to design all the costumes that I think you'll look great in. It's absolutely fabulous, darling. Wonderful. Well, we've and got Foxy? through our first letter. Oh, I've got a question for Foxy. Oh, go for it. Foxy, do you think Ivor Merkin would have been an easier man to overpower? I mean, after all, someone did manage to wrap him in tip tape. Overpowered by one of the girls? Oh, come on. He was why a strong man and doubled up as a bouncer on the busy nights, if you remember. He could easily throw burly men out of the club. I find it hard to believe that anyone could be overpowered by a woman. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Interesting. Exactly. So has anyone got any any kind of ideas? Any sneaky suspicions? Are you all playing your cards close to your chest? <laughs> what does the audience think? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to hear from the detective again shortly. So uh, if uh, anyone has any questions they want us to ask, Please let us know. This is your very brief section of time where you can give us a grilling. Nope. Well, the detectives come back. Right then, girls. Lovely to see you're taking this whole murder inquiry in your stride. I've now got two things of note to report. Firstly, it appears the safe located in the storeroom behind the dressing room is completely empty. I'm unsure what, if anything, was stored in there. Perhaps one of you girls knows. We took the opportunity to use the keys on Ivor's belt to check it out, and there's nothing in there but air. Secondly, it seems Ivor Merkin was drugged. Flunitrazepam, the coroner believes. That's a prescription benzodiazepine which is often used as a sedative or anticonvulsant. You probably know it better as Rohypnol, one of the many date rate drugs circulating these days around the nightclubs and bars. It's nasty stuff and when administered to excess, it can be lethal. Ivor would have been very sleepy, possibly already out cold, when he was tied up, which explains how a girl could have overpowered such a strong man. The killer might not even have known she killed him when she left him. Perhaps you girls could chat amongst yourselves a bit more and see if you can establish some motives either way. Oh, my word. Well, he was drugged. Well, Ivor was drugged before he was rusted up like a turkey. That explains the lot. So one of us could have done it. My suspicion. What's the date? Well, not anyone. You'd need to be a murderer to do that, something like that. And I know all you guys well enough. I'd have been a character witness for any one of you. <laughs> better, better, better not go signing any passport applications just yet, Snapper. Mm -hmm. I would hope that all serious dancers would have their sorted already. No? You just never know when the next big booking is going to come up. I wish I could get booked to work overseas. Maybe I should take up dancing. It doesn't suit everyone. Not everyone can shimmy and there's all the twerking, bumping and grinding too. You need to be quite fit. And good on stage. It's not enough just to dance. You need the right facial expressions. <laughs> a good audience helps no end, though. That's why Snappy's audience warm-up routines are so important. And I have security. Any, anyone in the audience who was misbehaving just got thrown out. Thankfully, we don't get many rotten apples here. Most of the audience are lovely. 
and as none of the audience were here when Arvin, when Ivar, sorry, my, the absence that has gone to my head is the big bottle. They love it in France, you see. Big bottle of absence, you can't go wrong. Um, and nobody was here when Ivan was killed. None of them were murderers either. Which is more that can be said for one of us. Don't look at me. I didn't do anything. Nor me. But then the murderer is going to protest the innocence too, don't you think? Then maybe we should get back to the questioning. I'm sure that I will have a question for someone. When I think about it long enough, maybe I should go first this time. Are we moving on to the second round now? We are. Straight Ask in. your question. Okay. I saw Snappy Oshi playing Foxy for some money last week. Why was that, Foxy? Oh, well, um, Snappy O'Shea asked to take some pin-up shots of her in her burlesque costume, made teas as a birthday present for her boyfriend. We did a whole one-on-one one -on -one shoot with her before a show recently, actually. She was really thrilled with the results and paid me just the other day. I'm Scarlett. I'm Scarlett and Rouge, how is, her, how is your day, good day job going? Is it bringing in a good income? Well, my bridal shop isn't doing too well at the moment. The dresses are super expensive to buy in, even from China. Um, and the alter alterations aren't cheap either. Brides are notoriously difficult to please. I have heard this too. Kay, Kayla Muff, where were you when Ivor was killed? I wasn't in the dressing room when Ivor was killed. I'd have noticed something like that. I'd gone out with a nuzzle of the performers this evening to grab some early tea. I don't eat too close to dancing as it sits badly with all the shaking that I do, you see. It is the thrusting, the pelvic thrusting that I do. It sits badly. I have a question for Scarlett. Hmm? Yes, we all know that Ivor had a big, you know, estate and a lot of money behind him. I want to know, are you inheriting all of that now he's dead? Well, my darling, me and Ivor never discussed this at all. Um, I just guessed as his legitimate heir, if he did have an estate, it would naturally go to me, darling. Um, but we had no idea whether he's got one or not, um, and I have no idea who he's named as heir. Um, I do hope, though, that I'd still be in the will somewhere. While the relationship's never been good, it's never been terrible either. Seems like you had a lot to win from killing him, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, Kitty, well, you've been doing um, a lot more dancing lately. Uh, has your dancing career took off? Oh, I, I do not like it, je ne sais quoi. You know, I, I have lost my day job recently. I was made redundant from it. It's tough times with coronavirus, no? I was made redundant. So I've had to do a lot more burlesque dancing. And despite my youthful appearance, I do have arthritis, and it is a bit tiring on my joints, so it is my sole income, darling, you know? My hmm. sole income. I'd like to ask Snappy O'Shea if her day job knows about her burlesque career, and if so, what do they think of it? My day job has nothing to do with working in the burlesque club. Yes, I am a teacher. I work in a private school for girls. But this is burlesque, not some seedy knocking shop. They don't know about it, no. But I kind of lead this double life of having two different Facebook pages. So 
nobody ever really finds out who I am. So as far as the school is concerned, this is the only place that knows me as Snappy. Hmm. And uh, Rosie, um, were you backstage this afternoon? Did you meet with either? Um, yeah, I, I was backstage this afternoon. Um, really? I did, I did see either, but I was making all the girls a cup of tea in the kitchen. Ivor popped in and asked me to make him one too. I didn't think anything of it. This is the first time he's spoken to me in ages. I was just excited to see him, to be honest. Um, but, you know, um, Gillian, you actually asked me to bring the tea once I'd finished making it. You knew where I was. Well, uh, I don't think I want to answer that question. Well, Gillian, I have a question. Oh, yeah. sorry, my darling. That's all right, my love. I've got she, she's got me going. Gillian, mm -hmm. did, you, uh, did you know how much money was in that safe? You know, stored behind the dressing room. There's a lot of money in the safe in the store behind the dressing room. Mm -hmm. I only did the banking run on a Tuesday, so the entire week's bar takings is in there, plus the pay for the girls this evening. It's into thousands quite a haul for someone he also kept some personal effects in there mm. but Gillian what plans have you got when you move on from the grind and continue your career of carefree traveling oh I see it's like that is it yes it's like that well, I handed my notice just a week ago, and I told Ivar I'd be leaving at the end of this week. Um, he wasn't happy, as he hoped to keep me on the staff. I work well behind the bar, and I'm popular with the locals, and truth be told, I think he's, I thought he was attracted to me, and uh, I thought, think he hoped things might progress, but I wasn't looking for any relationship. Mm. Well, Rose Cheeks, did you know that Ivor Merkin was already in a serious relationship? Who did you ask that to? To Rosie Cheeks. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, my dear. Um, well, you know, I, I did know that he was in um, a serious relationship. And um, if I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I'm prettier than she is. You know, why should I have to sit on the sideline when he's dating some some ugly slut? It should be me that's with him. Um, and truth be told, you know, when you guys aren't there and I I get on stage and no one's watching, I I always I always put on a debut performance and he's always there watching. And I always wanted to catch his eye when he was watching me. So, yeah. Okay, mm. darling. But Snappy, I have a question for you. How close were you and Ivor? How well did you actually know each other? Hmm. Truth be told, we've known each other professionally for years. In fact, we run the grind together. Just recently, we've not been quite as good and close of friends as we had been in the past but that's only because he's trying to run you girls into the ground by asking for more and more shows every evening it's just no good you can't do it especially not with arthritis darling no no certainly not arthritis and absinthe don't go very well together i oh, find it works very well you <laughs> In your case, I think we'll make an exception. Thank you, darling. But I didn't want to ask Foxy if I've ever re asked to review the photographs that you took at the club. Yeah, he always reviews them when they're online. Um, especially after the burlesque dancers, um, I've deleted the ones they don't like, you know, because, you know, there are some munters out there if you want to see it. Um, he always goes through them, the pop, you know, publicity photos um, of the club dancers in action. Um, so yeah, he's allowed to review them. I just let him do it. And this means he's thought the whole entire shoot 
um, the other day. You know, we saw a few photos from Snatch's private pinup photo shoot that we did. Um, because they were taken in the club, so he also gets to see them, you know. So she, she knows. <laughs> private pinup. <laughs> yeah, private pinup. They were out. You think mine are out? Hers were even more out. She would. They were. She kept hitting them with her feet. They were so baggy, you know what I'm saying? It was happening there. I just needed to cool down. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, it looks like that bloody detective's back again. Oh, oh good. I'm back again. Thank goodness for WPCs is all I can say. Some of the lads have been far too sidetracked, if you ask me. It appears the empty safe may be more of a clue than I'd first realised. If either did have the week's takings in there, it may be nothing more than a robbery gone wrong. There have been numerous reports of thefts in clubs and bars up and down the country recently. With so many of you girls working the circuit, I'm thinking it might be worth tracking down some of your previous bookings and seeing if where you've worked ties into any of the other thefts. Then again, no one else has ever been killed in these robberies. Perhaps Ivor Merkin's murder and those thefts are wholly unrelated. It's very easy to add two and two together and make five, if you know what I mean. We have to deal in just the facts. Ivor is dead and the safe of the grind is empty. I don't believe in coincidences, but who stands to benefit? My guess is his will was in there too, as we've not found a copy of that yet, although I suppose it could be at one of his other clubs. Until we speak to his solicitor, who knows whether anyone stands to gain financially from his death over and above the money already taken. It's a puzzle. A Ooh. Ooh. We sure, sure know all about teasers, but as to this murder inquiry thing, we're all like virgins. Well, Hugh Jorgen can touch me for the very first time. Anytime he likes. Oh. <laughs> ha! You need to settle down, Rosie. Get yourself a steady date. There are more exciting men out there than Hugh Jargon. Come and dance near me and I'll introduce you to some lovely men. All of them waiting for a girl like you to sweep you off them feet. Assuming that she isn't the murderer, of course. It's all getting a lot more complicated, don't you think? I thought murdering crimes were meant to get a lot easier as you ruled out the suspects. We seem to be adding to the problems. Like this thief, you mean? Do you think the person who took the money was the same person who killed either? Forget that. If all the money's gone from the safe, it sounds like none of us are getting paid tonight, girls. <gasps> Do you think the police will compensate us for taking up our time this evening? What do you think, Rosie? All right, just a second. Try page 10, love. 11. <laughs> I doubt it. It's hard enough to get money from the jury service. I'm sure we could put a claim into his estate once the murder inquiry's over, of course. Good idea, though it might take a few months to go through, especially if his will's contested. Do you think it will be? Well, whatever happens, I won't be sticking around. I need a paying job. And with either did, there's nothing to keep me here. Apart from the police inquiry. I'd wait until that was over, obviously. Obviously. Say, didn't you promise us all a cock uh, sorry, cocktail earlier? I don't remember getting a cocktail. Me neither. Can anyone recommend one? Sex on the beach, screaming orgasm, climax. Forget cocktails. Let's just go for tequila slammers, or even better, Jaeger bombs, my darling. Oh, I'll bring to that. Shouldn't we finish off the inquiry off first? Otherwise, we'll all be a bit too drunk to even care who killed him. Ah, yes, sport, sport. Okay, then. Who has a question for me? Hit it.
I want to ask Rosie Cheeks a question. Yeah. You said you were backstage making the girls a cup of tea. Yeah. Who exactly did you make tea for? You never offered me any tea. Well, there was I saw a numerous amount of people backstage this, evening, uh, this afternoon, and I actually made tea for Snappy, Foxy, and Scarlet. Um, but you know, you other girls were going in and out all afternoon, so it was just the three that asked that were there. Hmm. I suppose the rest of you girls can verify that. Hmm. And uh, Kitty Lemuff. Uh, wasn't it you that I saw having an intimate moment with Ivan Merkin this afternoon? That kiss on the cheek was more than a typical French greeting. Ask her if, um, if there's anything going on between you two. Oh, well, you know I am from the continent. We have these flings every time I work in the club. I cannot resist him. It is one of those things. You know, we find ourselves having some kind of intercourse afterwards, just verbal, of course, just verbal intercourse. But, you know, it's one of those things I cannot stop myself. Mm -hmm. It's not long standing, but it's on and off, you know. I cannot resist him. I'm suited for a more permanent relationship. I am that kind of girl, you see. But when there is a man in front of me, I find myself rubbing myself up and down him. And, you know, rieflings, they're worth it. They're exciting. But, you know, Ivor wasn't dead. And I was happier in those days. Like what images of her, like a Jack Russell. <laughs> I have been called this before. Where did you hear this? Uh, I read it on the bathroom walls. That is where I have seen it, too. <laughs> Um, Sorry, you Sorry. go first. Kitty, can I just ask you, have you got any debts at the moment that you can't meet? Oh, la mer, la mer. I do not know what that means, but yes, I do. I have several oh. debts. <coughs> Sorry, coronavirus. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I have several debts. And, you know, I have and entered into some individual voluntary arrangements relating to one credit card but i do still have one other really big one which is hanging over my head you know i do what i can but i am working really hard dancing to try and pay off my debts i may lose my house otherwise you see my house we do not want me homeless do we je ne sais quoi no no Foxy, I have a question for you. I wasn't going to bring this up, but I actually saw you and Iva arguing earlier. What were you arguing about? Well, the thing is, I had found out that Iva had copied all my photos from um, Snappy's uh, photo shoot. Um, and he was using them to blackmail her. And um, so I had to have a go at him. You know what I mean? You know, you have to support your friend. So. Not only did he use my pictures against my permission, he also broke the breach of confidence and copyright as well. <laughs> I said I would report him to the police for his blackmail attempt. Um, but there we go. Mm. All of me. Well, thank you for clearing it up. You know, it does make a lot of sense. So thank you for that. Thanks, Rosie. I, knew I have a question if anybody is available. Are you available? I will ask no. you only once. Had to be said. Sorry. Even though we have to very carefully. I only ask this once. So I saw Snappy and Ivor arguing in a dark corner of the grind earlier today. What were you fighting about? Well, as Fox has just told you, Ivor was blackmailing me. He got my photos and he was going to show them to the school. And it was just every week he wanted more and more money. And I just couldn't face it. It, it just, it really, it's just so upsetting that someone I trusted for so long could do that to me. He's a disgusting man. 
Absolutely, darling. Snappy, I actually have another question for you. Um, I know that one of your main jobs in the grind was to make Ivory's tea. Besides you, who else knew how he liked his tea? Mm. But Ivory didn't want anyone to know that he took sugar in his tea because none of you girls do, so gets a bit worried about all that. He used to write everyone's names on the cups just so he knew exactly whose cup was which, but he used to have two sweeteners in it. Um, you girls don't like sweeteners because of all the chemicals in them. But it was just me, unfortunately. Scarlet? Yes, darling? Was your dad worth a lot? Well, I believe his estate will be quite sizable, because as well as owning the grind outright, he owns two other nightclubs in town. He had a strong head for business and was very tight on the purse strings. I mean, he barely redecorated anything. Um, Snappy needed it redecorating for a burlesque show, and she had to beg and borrow Ivor to do this. So I believe he is quite um, rich, yes. Tight asked. Yes, there should be a lot of money kicking around in, in the well, which means you could expand your business, providing, of course, it comes to me. Uh, maybe we can go into business together. Yeah. Really? In fact, like actually, that. while we're having this conversation, um, had you been in the dressing room at all this afternoon? Well, I was in the dressing room this afternoon, but I left with the other girls probably around the time Ivor died. Um, he had requested access to the room as he had to get some spirits out of the store cupboard, which were located behind the dressing rooms before the show. Um, but I didn't see anything. Gillian, how yes. often does the bar need a uh, restock? Well, the bar usually runs low on spirits after each evening. Some brands go down faster than others, depending on the evening. Uh, on burlesque nights, there's usually a run on vodka and tequila. Obviously, you girls like your drinks. Uh, other nights, it might be whiskey and Bacardi that need replenishing. Ivor likes me to restock the bar before each evening because of the location of the spirits and the safe in the back store behind the dressing rooms. Getting in there mid-show with all of you with your tits out and putting your underwear on. Oh, it's a nightmare. So, uh... Yeah, uh, I always do inventory and restock mid-afternoons before you girls even come in. And so, you know, I get myself set up for the night. Gillian, did yeah. I forgive you responsibility for the safe? Oh, no. He hasn't trusted me with the safe keys, though he did give me access to the store where it is. And that's where the spirits were kept, too. Usually he left me to restock by myself. He only ever went into the back when he needed to handle the money, which he would have done today as the performers would have needed to be paid this evening. Yes. Mm. Oxy, were you in the dressing room at all this afternoon? I'm not permitted in the dressing room. I've already told you that. Um, if the boyfriends didn't have to wait outside for their dad's girlfriends, you have no, I have no idea why I was in there. Um, he would usually be denied access to, despite owning the club, he's not allowed in there either. Uh, all dressing rooms are off limits. Customers might see too much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm, I have a question for Rosie. Yeah? Did, did you enter the dressing room at any point this afternoon? Um, noon. Well, you know, um, as, as my job requires every time before a show, um, I went I went out the back um, and I checked the, the running order of the show and, um, you know, you girls have told me gimmicks and theatrics that, you know, after you've performed, the station's killing, as you know, that's my job. Um, but obviously, depending on whether you use small glitter, big glitter pieces, snowflakes, whatever, it re it changes the, the size of the broom or the bristles that I may need. So, um, you know, I did go from dressing room to dressing room to ask each girl what gimmick they were using that night so that I could use the correct broom to clear it up. 
and it just so happened that there was uh, a lot of famous girls there um, and you know I thought whilst I'm there I might as well take up the opportunity to ask for some autographs but funny enough um, I didn't see either in those dressing rooms at all so I don't know. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, it's that bloody detective again. A wooga, as Snappy would say. I'll stop you all there if I may. I think I've heard quite enough. With so many of you with motives, it is quite a pretty puzzle. But I think I may have worked out who killed Ivor and why. I wonder how many of you have managed to come up with the correct answers. Maybe you think it was rosy cheeks because of her unrequited love. Date rate drugs work just as well men as women. Perhaps her passions got the better of her. It would have been an easy matter to slip some into his tea. Or do you think the killer is his daughter, Scarlett Von Rouge, whose failing business could do with a massive cash injection? Then again, could Snappy O'Shea and Foxy LaFlash have been pulling a counter stunt to recover those boudoir shots Ivor had taken? Could Gillian Tease have finished him off when he was fetching out the spirits for this evening's show? She's moved around the country with work just like many of the other dancers. Or do you think it was Kitty LaMuff who took their next passionate encounter too far? With so many motives to choose from, it's going to be hard to work out who killed him. Maybe you all did. No, no, this isn't a Hercule Poirot mystery. He wouldn't be seen dead in a joint like this. <laughs> Surely you don't think I had anything to do with Ivor's murder? I loved him. I wanted us to be together properly. Not because I'd use Ryhop no, on him. I certainly never killed him. Hmm. Well, it got into his system somehow. As for how whoever finished him off when he took effect, well, although I'd openly admit I was being blackmailed, I certainly didn't put a stop to killing him. I'm sure you didn't, Snappy. I can't apologise enough for giving the rats the access to your photographs and for them to blackmail you. You know how careful I am with anything getting into the public eye. But I trusted Ivor. Clearly I shouldn't have. Clearly not, Foxy. But as my mother always says, it's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. And his death might mean I can keep my business afloat a little longer to see out this financial tight spot. Not that I wished him dead, you understand, but I'm not about to go and um, look a gift horse in the mouth. No, of course not. I'm sure I would have loaned you the money if you'd asked him for it when he was alive. Not. <laughs> As for me, it looks like I'll be out of a job again and um, moving on. Alors, it sounds to me like I'm one of the very few who will be mourning his passing. Admittedly, his death makes my personal life far less complicated. But I'd never have killed a man. Mais non. Maintenant, we need to work out who did. Does anyone have any ideas? Hmm. And now I think we can go to our studio audience and see what questions they have and what tips and tips they have before the detective comes back to let us know who done it. So who is going to take a guess as to who the murderer is before we take our guess? Mm -hmm. What does the audience have to say? So we've got some comments coming up. Uh, we <laughs> That's it. We've got Ruth now asking, Rosie, don't make any tea. Please, girl. You don't make any tea. <laughs> they, she says, you don't make tea, Rosie. What do you say to that? Well, I don't make the tea, but I spill the tea. Oh. Apparently, she also thinks you did it. <laughs> Snappy or guilty. <gasps> Funny how you get past that comment. Reese says, you're guilty, Snappy O'Shea. 
Um, oh, Hardy says it's Flexi Bell. Ooh. Uh, Dibs Davis says it's Sean Connery. <laughs> <Get her yourself. laughs> Obviously. Foxy the Flash, you are guilty according to Nicola Fox. Ooh. It must be a familial thing because she's Fox and you're Foxy. Grr. It's the extra Y that does it. Oh, another one for Snappy. Mary Ward says it's Snappy. Or Foxy. What is it about me? Or Foxy. She's taking... I know the Mary Ward's dodgy. That's but... one of yours, May, isn't it? Isn't Mary Ward one of yours? She is. I remember, don't I? <laughs> yes. She's a, she's a Irish Jezebel. Oh, an Irish Jezebel. Interesting. Mm. So, uh... Any questions anyone out there wants us to ask? Do any of the audience want us to ask questions? Do we have to give our predictions on... Yes, we can kind right. of... Does anyone here, assembled, have an idea oh, of... Oh, we've got a oh, question come up Kirsty from Kirsty. has a question. Kirsty, you can send us in your question yes. and we'll ask it for you. Uh, not got motive. Who's not got motive? Claire oh, is a little Chloe, too... Claire's a little too quiet, sorry. Oh. Maybe it's her. Oh. And she says you've not got a motive, though. It's always... It's his daughter! It's always the sweet, innocent ones. Rosie. Oh. <laughs> Where did you last see him? Where did who last see who? Well, obviously it's old Ivor Merkin. Yeah. I thought Sean Connery... <laughs> <laughs> or it was Sean Connery, of course. So while Kirsty sorts out who she's asking us, who she's asking. But well, I saw him this morning. Um, on about this bloody blackmail stuff again. He wanted me to do three shows a night for nothing, seven days a week. Right, Rosie. Where did you last see him? I also saw him when I was making cup of tea backstage for the girls, and he came and he asked me to make him one, but I never saw him after that. Well, I last saw him when I had to get the key for the backstage room to get the booze out, and uh, he was in the office sorting out the wages for this evening. May? Foxy? Fox? Fox? Well, I... <laughs> well, I saw him last when I was having an argument with him about the photographer photos for snapping, you know, because he was, you know, blackmailing us, so bending a friend. I had to say something. Right. Rouge, Scarlet, Vaux Rouge. Well, I saw him earlier on this afternoon in the dressing, go uh, dressing room with all the girls, but we all left together. Oh. And Kitty Lemuth? Oh, darling, well, you know, we you had a moment. Him. <laughs> we had a moment, and I bent over the bar to get another tequila, and he took me roughly from behind. Oh, but that's the last time I saw him, Elema. You know, but that didn't do your arthritis any good. <laughs> it meant nothing, and it made my arthritis much better, darling. Do you not know this is a perfect treatment? Oh. Where was Foxy when the body was found? I was. I am um, buying new jewels. Oh, of course. Mm, somebody did ask, how did you afford those jewels? Yes. Well, because I do tea dancing. <laughs> Darling. Oh. I can't come out with the boys. And I Hello, queen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Queen. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Make it rain. When we were here when we saw the body of Foxy. <laughs> it's all Foxy. And that's how I get my coins. What movie is it, Foxy, that, that lady's in? Is it is it the movie where they throw where the girl throws the, the beads oh, on no. the floor? Don't and know. she does this. And as she does this, the, the top pops down. Yeah, it's Showgirls, isn't it? Is it in Showgirls? Yeah, isn't it? Or is it Burlesque? Mm, no, it wasn't Burlesque. It must be Showgirls. Mm. You remind me of her all of a sudden. Mm. Rosie, it's you. 
Oh, Le Meuf can run off to France now. She's knocked him off. Oh, <laughs> darling. That's what I think. Did you have a ribbon on today, Foxy? What sort of ribbon? I'm not sure. It's Mary Ward. I had tuck tape, but that was about it. Oh. Who slept with him? Come on, girls. We all did. Together. Orgy. <laughs> I don't remember that, darling. Incest. <laughs> Incest, a game the whole family can play. Yeah. <laughs> the muff is guilty as charged. Uh, how did you fold those pills? We've answered that question. I have gone blind, <laughs> says Sarah Chipperfield. Sarah is my kitchen assistant, you know. It, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Hello Queen without a bit of shock and scare, honey. No, don't stand up. You're in a short skirt. Oh! Rosie. Right, girls. That pumpkins no one wants to see. Right, girls. Let's send that roulette wheel around. Rosie, who do you think did it? I don't think it's Scarlet did. She had the most win out of killing him. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Foxy? I think it was Scarlet too. Oh! Scarlet, anything to say? Well, I think it was all of you motherfuckers. You all are trying to get something from me. You're all trying to take it all away from me. So each one of you did it and conspiring against me. Ooh, the lady doth protest. But if you had to Not use your Scarlet. inside voice and choose one, who would you choose? <laughs> I would choose... Mm. Snappy. <laughs> Don't do that. That means a murderer is sitting right next to me. <laughs> and as for you, Kitty Lemuff. I say Gillian, darling. Rude bitch. Mm. I have nothing to gain. You are too innocent. You know, you pretend mm. as if you're innocent and naive in all this, and you really are not, are you? Yeah, you've had a bit of five minutes as well, haven't you? Oh, who has the key to where the body was found? That would be Scarlet again. Dressing room. Apparently Lady M did it. Well, I have it on good authority <laughs> that Lady M doesn't travel to burlesque clubs. Can you ever? Wouldn't she be called does, dinner in a burlesque club. She does. Wearing that outfit. <laughs> it's a story about the Brady's. <laughs> Well, I think, I actually think, drag daughter or not, I think my darling Rosie, I think it might have been you. I think you were frightened into a corner and committed the murder. There's been a murder. She could have seen Ivor roughly taking Kitty over the bar and been so jealous. Yes, because actually, if she was making tea... It wouldn't be a far cry to put some drugs into his tea because he had sweetener and that would have masked the taste of the narcotics. I should be Jessica Fletcher. You I think know it's an Rosie. Awful lot about that. Who do you think it is, love? Mm. Any time today, love. It's pumpkin hour. I don't know. You've been around five minutes, so I don't trust you. Nice. Mm. Rude. Seem to have got your shoes under the table there. Oh. Unless one of you oh. took the key. Lovely. Oh. So, girls, are those our final answers? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Are we yeah. ready for the, the conclusion? And it means we've got plenty of time to chat afterwards. We've got plenty of time to talk tea afterwards. Yay! Ooh. Well, not honestly, we actually don't have plenty of time because we did start late and some people want to go at 10, but we can talk till the cows come home. And clearly she has. Her <laughs> name's Kitty LaMuff. She's a cow. <laughs> right. I think we should have uh, the inspector back to tell us who done it. Mm. Yes. Well, all good things must come to an end. Perhaps that should be bad things. Whatever. 
It seems we've reached the end of the show. As... Oh. oh. <laughs> it's all right. We've just re Well, then. All good things must come to an end. Perhaps that should be bad things. Whatever. It seems we've reached the end of the show as far as someone here is concerned. The question is, who is the guilty one? The quiz, this case has all been a question of place and time. Ivor was killed in a dressing room, and up until the time the performers cleared out to give him access to the storeroom behind it, you all provided each other with an alibi. Those people who left the building after that point can therefore be ruled out. Kitty Lamuff left to get an early evening meal, and Scarlett Von Rouge was in her own flat at the time of the murder getting an early tea. It was a simple matter to confirm their alibis, as stunning girls like these would have turned several heads as they journeyed from the club. As for the rest of you, well, who should we start with? Snappy O'Shea needed to get her photographs back, but she had no guarantee that they'd be in the safe at the club. If either had downloaded them onto his PC at home, killing him here would have achieved nothing. And if she was worried about maintaining a reputation at school, she was hardly likely to be considering a hobby change to murderer. I'm pretty sure that's something which is viewed even more negatively by those in authority. Foxy. Oh. Ah! I was just getting to the good bit. With me. Well then, all good things must come to an end. Perhaps that should be bad things. Whatever. It seems we've reached the end of the show as far as someone here is concerned. The question is, who is the guilty one? The quiz... This case has all been a question of place and time. Ivor was killed in a dressing room, and up until the time the performers cleared out to give him access to the storeroom behind it, you all provided each other with an alibi. Those people who left the building after that point can therefore be ruled out. Kitty Lamuff left to get an early evening meal, and Scarlett Von Rouge was in her own flat at the time of the murder getting an early tea. It was a simple matter to confirm their alibis, as stunning girls like these would have turned several heads as they journeyed from the club. As for the rest of you, well, who should we start with? Snappy O'Shea needed to get her photographs back, but she had no guarantee that they'd be in the safe at the club. If either had downloaded them onto his PC at home, killing him here would have achieved nothing. And if she was worried about maintaining a reputation at school, she was hardly likely to be considering a hobby change to murderer. I'm pretty sure that's something which is viewed even more negatively by those in authority. Foxy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not again, darling. Oh, <laughs> yes, technical difficulties. Right. There's no other excuse for it than we will have to find out ourselves. Uh, yeah, so if you can open that up, we'll find his script. I'll sack him when I get home. Must be Flexi. Oh, oh Rosie. Yeah, well, we've, we've, we've got down to Rosie, Foxy, and Julian. It's flexible. So it wasn't Scarlet, and it wasn't that Kitty Lemuth. I'm Not surprised. Not darling. Yes, he just took me roughly over the bar. <laughs> In more ways than one. So what we're yeah. going to have to do, because the video has cut out, along with everything else this evening at our Hello Queen special, yes. is we're going to have to actually see from the script who the final culprit was. Uh, you will have to forgive us a second while we locate said document. So have you all had a good evening with us whilst... Yeah, Pepper's doing Pepper. thing. Yes. Lovely, darling. <laughs> Pass that absinthe round, darling. <laughs> it's right here. Like a Prosecco bottle. <laughs> Prosecco bottle of ten. Uh -huh. So, uh, anybody been trick or treating this evening? Anybody planning a treat after this? Well, yeah, with my husband. Who? <laughs> that may oh what are you Dare planning darling? special planned or is it just one of those boudoir moments just a treat for the husband oh he's a good egg that husband of yours over the bar darling 
No, Ooh. we're a bit more fun. <laughs> they have a Christmas room already, have you, Will, have you know? We're not discussing that. That's just rude, darling. <laughs> in, in, in October. <laughs> right, we are finally getting there. Oh, don't you love technology? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let you down every step of the way. So for those of you that are at home playing along and for those yes, of you that have partaken right. all evening long, the yes. answer is... Uh, let's get to the bit of the script. Right, hang on. Ooh, I can't find the rest of it. Uh, right, so... Okay, here we go. So, yeah, I'll pretend I'm the detective now. Foxy LaFlash wasn't allowed in the dressing rooms. That was something she told us right at the start, so we know she didn't do it. Nor, as it happens, did Rosy Cheeks. Ooh. Though her tea was the means of getting the Rehypnol into Ivor's system. The problem is she loved him far too much to see him dead. And the other girls she made tea for are all still very much alive and breathing. I can now reveal that the murderer is someone we know has moved around the country committing many other similar heists. She hopes to run her own club one day, but she isn't going to manage to buy it on bar staff wages, is she? Regularly moving around the country and always taking bar work, Gillian was in the ideal position to case any joint she planned to rob. Knowing where the owner kept the money would have meant that she would have accessed it easily as the time was right. I've checked with the other police forces who've been investigating similar crimes on their patches and can confirm Rahipnol was used on more than one occasion to sedate the owner and provide easy access to the safe. This, I'm afraid, is the first time her technique has resulted in a death. Oh. Perhaps it was unintentional. Or maybe Ivor was making advances towards her as well. Who knows? Either way, the killer was Gillian Tease. The motive? Simple burglary. I'm not taking any credit at all, of course, darlings. I was right there. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to accompany him to the station, Miss Tease. The only bars you'll be seeing in the foreseeable future are steel ones. Case solved. Well done, everyone. For anyone who said it was this one. Mic drop. Give yourself a round of applause. He'll do very well in prison. He <laughs> <laughs> What the hair makes you look guilty, darling. I've got a loofah. Can I drop it in the shower? <laughs> Does that mean that I get the manner to myself? Fuck now? off. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Why am I the murderer? You can go <laughs> trick or treating now, though, Pepper, can't you? Yeah. Well, I you can. take her around. She wants to go all around the neighborhood, banging on doors. Knocking people up. And it's more trouble than it's worth. I'd rather go to prison, actually. Perhaps you could get trick or treating there. You'll get a lot of action in there anyway, darling, won't you? <laughs> yes. Lots of tricks and treats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of girls are going to have a lovely time with you. Yes. Turning tricks and getting treats. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see all the comments we've had come through. Great evening did not disappoint. Even with technical difficulties. Lady M. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. What's the treat, Debs? Oh. Wow, good job. <laughs> yes, you can take it back now, Reese. I didn't do it. Absolutely fantastic. Love that. Who does Nicola Fox belong to? Me. Oh, she one of yours? Hello, Nicola. 
welcome. It's only when I see new names, I think, where do these new names come from? Where is Nicola? Where in the world is Nicola? I want to know. Yeah, you always turn into an L then, don't you? Ooh. Where, sorry? Ireland. Oh, she's from Ireland? She's the mother of Mary. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Only Mother of Mary. <laughs> Mother of Mary. Nicola, what did you think of Scrappy O'Shea? Nicola, what did you think of Yes, you're going to trash my accent. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah. Can you do this again? Oh. Ooh. Well done, squirrels. A Christmas murder mystery would be great. No, we've got something else planned for Christmas. Oh. Yeah, we can start well. planning. <laughs> we got lots of planning. Yes. <laughs> Next week we're going to be coming from different locations and everything because mm -hmm. uh, my Thanks sister, to Uncle Boris. My sister won't be able to be next to me next week. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to go to my penthouse and. Gillian, these are for you. Oh, chains. She's done little chains. Mm -hmm. Shackles. Shackles. Yes. Shackles. Oh. Yes, that's that's your hand oh, you can Bloody Liz Walton. <laughs> <sighs> yes, you had been saying that right from the start, hadn't you, Liz? <laughs> Since the first promo picture went up, yeah. she was convinced it was me. Mm. Oh, Ireland. Yes, we, f we figured that bit out. We want to know about the accent. Oh, so shocked you will survive in prison. <laughs> You're surviving, darling. Just survive. I want a Christmas murder mystery would be great. Lovely, but we can't all get what we want, Nicola. Mm. We can't all get what we want. We are pre planning a Christmas show, and we're hoping that all our sisters here assembled will help us to celebrate. In fact, Peppa and I had lunch this week, didn't we, darling? Oh, we did. We went to m and and had, uh, oh. we had to queue up, first of all. Masks. We had to put masks on and pretend we were elsewhere in the world. We yeah, had no, to... So, so people didn't recognise us. Oh, yes. Yes, you know, now that we're a, a worldwide syndicated show, we had to have the security drop us off and we had to go in through a private entrance on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but at lunch we decided, why do one fucking Christmas show when actually we can do Christmas shows all through December? So That's each week great. we're going to have a different themed show with different colour schemes. Mm -hmm. What do you girls think about that? Who does like Christmas? As long as I can do red. I do green. <laughs> red for yeah. filth, baby. Ooh. Who else wants to come play? Anybody else want to play for Christmas? I'll come. <laughs> I'll come. I've been doing a Christmas show, darling, but I'll slot you in somehow. Well, maybe you can. Maybe you can do a More cooking. Rapsing. Maybe you can do a cooking <laughs> segment on how to stuff a turkey. Well, I've done that lots already. You get your fist oh, right. Plums in your pudding. How to plum your pudding? Yes, I'll do that, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. Great show. Will you be doing it again? Oh, quite possibly. Watch the space. I'm sure. All it us was girls like playing Cluedo. And, and us girls will have a chat about it, and we'll see what we feel. Mm -hmm. Because we're a bit of a community here. We like doing our chat show. Like playing Cluedo. That's cool. Uh, scared of you. <laughs> scared for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Scared for you. I think you all look great. Thank you, Sabrina. Aww. Oh, who's that cutie pie? Oh, bless. Thank you so much, ladies. Had fun, made my nut. Amazing. Something a little bit different. There's something called James. Wayne hates him. What? <laughs> I don't hate him. He's just annoying. Wayne, it, well, I'm not even speaking to Wayne. Uh, May, mm -hmm. uh, do your do your do your uh, followers have Tourette's? Because she just blurted that out without mm -hmm. us even asking a question. I'm not sure. Um, Everyone is looking great tonight. Just do they have Tourette's? Tourette's? Sorry, May. She doesn't have Tourette's, but she's Irish, so I guess they just waffle shit. <laughs> <laughs> So, May, your uh, alter ego uh, makes gorgeous Christmas wreaths. Maybe May can come and demonstrate on his behalf Ooh. how to make a wreath on one of our Christmas shows. Oh, that could happen, yes. I also <laughs> make resin Christmas decorations, keychains, earrings. Oh. I've made some lovely penis earrings recently. Penis earrings oh, would be great. Oh, 
lives. Sorry? So would penis, would penis earrings you, be a... Sorry. Send you the link. Right, the link for penis. Would penis earrings be a stocking filler or a condom filler? It depends how big you want them, I guess. But I would say a stocking filler. They're only eight pounds. Very cheap. Flexi's interested. Should and they're, and they're not Should too big, big so they won't hurt you, Flexi. You can tell when she's she's excited because her legs suddenly go up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> That's because she's on her back with her legs behind her head. So, <laughs> so May, would you chat with would you chat with your alter ego and see if he'd be prepared to let you come and do a little demonstration? Eh? Maybe you can do it. I don't know it's Miss Reed. Have a word. And also, Mrs. Dalfire said she was available potentially. Ooh. Well, only if she's going to do a Christmas special. We'd mm. love her. Well, Ooh, she, she, she has to be prepared, though. She's a cheeky minx. Claire's you, even voiced. Claire's jumping up and down on her seat. Yeah, she yeah just I love said, it. Love your Miss Dalfire. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, yes, Christmas, Father Christmas. Don't shave. Who's she talking to? You. Rude! <laughs> uh, apparently, orange uniforms will suit me. I don't do orange. I'd look like a freaking Halloween pumpkin to begin with. Never mind. Never mind adding orange. It's like adding insult to injury, isn't it, girls? You want to go to Wentworth, don't you? <laughs> yeah. This is all I've thought about the whole time. You look like B. Smith, darling. Who's <laughs> B. Smith? She's the top dog, <laughs> Either that or vinegar tits. Yeah. <laughs> Love the idea of different colours for Christmas. Amazing. Was a great show. What's in my kiss? My it's kid. her kid. Oh, my kid. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. See, she can't read at the end of the night. Listen, girls, I've been up since six this morning doing a wedding. Had to officiate at a wedding, don't you know? Um, oh. Hold on, there's more nice comments. You gorgeous ladies will get us through this lockdown. You are the best medicine. Isn't that lovely? Sarah yeah. is mine, you know. She's been on my show before. She's long. one of yours. She is mine, yeah. She's undercover, dear. Behind those Jackie O'Nassa's sunglasses, I'm wondering what she's trying to hide. Hmm. All sorts of things. She has alter egos everywhere. Mm. Oh. Ruth says, love you all. Thank you. And then the ever gorgeous Marcello Texiera Morgan Williams. My husband. Who, yes, your husband. Well done, everyone. Loved it. You are just so gorgeous for your support of May and all that she's doing. And we just love you, Marcello. He's wonderful. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Go on. Carry on. What? You were you were breaking into song for no reason. Well, was it? I was saying he was wonderful. Wonderful. They're all musical queens here. They just break wonderful. into songs, don't they? <laughs> That's a bit of wicked. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> As you were. Bitch. <laughs> if you wish to PayPal me, um, waymorgwins at gmail.com, I'll give you a show and the ladies may come out for you again. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah, same. Great show. That's one of yours, Ian. Mm -hmm. Come on, Flexi, we're both doing right. Rocked my phone. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, May, love you so much. Aww. Ooh. <laughs> Sabrina Bell, who's Sabrina for? Yay, I have one. A penis, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 leave Ireland alone. We weren't moaning about no, Ireland. Anita. Anita we were. Anita down the side again. It's always Anita. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, resin. and resin willies. It's called a yeah, penis, it's lovey. It's an adult show. We can say penis. Yeah. Life is finally good. B. 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 To about me. C. No, D. Does this, e. I've noticed yes. this. Yes. It's, it's that game. She has an intermittent yeah. fault. We've heard. We've heard. She's got a and kind of alphabetical Tourette's. All your outfits are amazing. I love them. Good job on them. Oh. And Kirsty Waite has a pussy. Look at it. It's a shocked pussy. It's got a very oh, open oh, mouth, oh, that oh, pussy, hasn't it? <laughs> looks like me. Now, Claire, you're, you're a fan of pussy. You've got two, don't you? I do, yes. And you've got three. Three, yes. Mm. Three fur babies. Not really a pussy person myself. No pussies in the folly, darling. 
<laughs> they put it in the comment. <laughs> More of a hot dog lover. This is what Fanny yeah. dabbled in when she was at private school. Oh! Are they coming for you, Jillian? Oh, they are. I can hear the sirens now. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, what happened now? Love Mrs. Doubtfire. She's a cheeky minx. When you get tits. Oh, <laughs> piss myself <laughs> laughing, Fanny. Yes. Oh, look at your husband. Isn't he cute? He is. Oh. May killed me today in our game. Oh, I don't want to know about today. I want to know about tonight, darling. Great job, everyone. Looking wonderful. She can go up on screen. There we go. Oh, she's oh, pretty. Hello, sister. Is it your sister? Yes. Hello, hey, gorgeous. Family. There's no business like show business. Like no business like no. That's Deborah Scott again. Sorry, Deborah, it's actually Deborah it's Davis. Davis. Yes. Yes. I, well, I, I know I was there, darling. Down. Five minutes, so she could actually type that in. Huh? She's right. a risky one. Risky. Uh, Definitely risky, that Deb. Oh, Kirsty says it's a picture of her cat called Cookie. Oh, I can see your cookie. I can Ooh. see your cookie. <laughs> your lovely flavoured cookie. That's what your cookie looks like. You can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> So, girls, let's let's do a quick round robin. Uh, Flexible, what have you got coming up next for you, darling? Anything we need to know about coming up? Yeah. Um. So I'm recently. Um. Next week, next month, I'm going to be able to do Vogue. Um. So make sure to check that out. Um. I've also got a new hit song featuring with RuPaul. Um. That's coming out in December. So check that out as well. Um. But no. Apart from that, I'm pretty much a bedroom queen. So you know, if you want to hit my PayPal up, you know. If you want private shows, I can arrange that for you. Private meetings, <laughs> I can, you know, I want to do the whole work. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, <laughs> busy, I'm a busy queen, you know, I've got lots of it, so yeah. It's amazing how much you can get done in lockdown. Right, so that's Flexi Bell. Mm. So Flexi, um, in all honesty, we're going to keep you busy anyway, because Mother Martinique has lots to do with you. Um, you. It's been lovely having you here with us. Flexi's details are rushing across the bottom of the screen. We will do everyone's uh, this evening. So, Flexi, uh, hang about. Let's see. May, my darling May, please hold. We're trying to find your... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend we have a tech star. Mm -hmm. There we go. Miss May Kit Rain, her details, her PayPal, her bra size is all down at the yeah. bottom of the screen. May, anything coming up for you, darling? Yeah, on Tuesday, I am on Cup of Tea with Tina D. Fabulous. Uh, I am doing two numbers there, uh, one about a beaver and one cool. about food. So do come and check it out. Um, What's the theme for then, Tuesday? That's on what, Tuesday. What's the theme for Tuesday, though? Because usually she has a theme. Um, her theme is international, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, I'm with you doing a makeup and chat thing. Oh. Um, and then on the 22nd of November, I'm back on Cup of Tea with Tina D's Mr. Doubtfire for, uh, for the icons. And then I think on the 5th of December, I'm booked again as Ursula on Cup of Tea with Tina D. Well. Wow. So, yes. Um, but if anyone else wishes to book Ursula gets a lot of business now, that time. Really, yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, it's great. It's great to see that people are appreciating your art form. And when we interviewed you before, you said that what you were doing it for you, for the art and for yeah. expressing yourself over co over lockdown. You were trying yeah. to develop, and and I mean, well, we've seen this evening you're quite well developed, aren't you? <laughs> I am quite developed. Yes, yes. It's all right. that milk you're drinking. Ooh. It's all the milk that my husband will be drinking. I have to produce it. <laughs> and lucky for me, I do semi skimmed pasteurized, and salted. So it's all available. <laughs> Gotta fucking love you. Right. The Fanny. The oh, Fanny. Her royal darling. Fanny. I'm up so much. I have so much coming up. But first of all, I need to do a shout out for the lovely Mark Davis, who wants me to remind you of him. Lady Martin oh. and Pepper Spray, because he just adores watching. He has been watching all evening, and that is the lovely Debs Davis. 
absolutely. So I, you, I had was the, he hanging out the window? But he was. For trying to breathe. And, <laughs> he was. And then she he dragged was him back in. Ventilating, darling. Because she's keeping him occupied. Him. That's why yeah, we forget but, about him. Yeah. But we yeah. don't forget about him, actually. He comes up no. quite often, pardon the yeah, pun. Yeah, I know. Well, he is watching right now, and he just sent me a message saying, do do remind me to Lady Martinique and pepper spray. Aww. So that's what I've done. Now, Hello, I Marky. Will... Hi. Yes, You're making us moist, talking. Marky. I would also... He... Yes. Yeah, well, there we are. He'll like that. Um, oh. Yes. Also, I have a new show coming up. Have you? Ooh. Yes. What's it we, called? We, it's we, coming we, up funny. We haven't got a name yet, but it's going to be a cookery show, and it's going to be on Friday evening, so as not to clash with yours. Mm -hmm. And I thought we could intermingle it, but the lovely Sarah Chipperfield, who right. has been watching tonight, will be assisting me as my kitchen assistant. I we see. All sorts of wonderful recipes coming up. Maybe you should be... call it Everything is Coming Up Fanny. <laughs> Well, you know, that is Gordon Ramsay we're talking about, isn't it, once again. But, you know, he did, in fact, catch me up the back passage just yesterday. Yes. Oh. Yeah, he's but, always uh, coming yeah, up, the, Fanny. The lovely Sarah Jipperfield and I will be coming up live on air shortly in front of everybody. Amazing. Um, yeah. Well, apparently you're not in this this day and age so we have no paypal or technological details for you but you can yes. find fanny on fanny's fun and frolics on facebook that is her I, don't, facebook. I don't need money darlings this is the thing you see i just do it i do it purely for the love of my it's not about the money we've got adoring fans poor may the first time may came on our show she was a TikTok phenomenon but hadn't had a facebook page and unfortunately, people were inundating her boy self, trying to befriend him. And he didn't know any of these people. He just wanted to be left alone. So May had to get a, a, a social media team. She had to organize a marketing team. It was hit. Oh. Security, all of it. So Fanny's Fun and Frolics, if you want to keep up to date with Fanny's new cookery show, find her on Fanny's Fun and Frolics. And now the ever gorgeous Claire, Claire Midia, my sister from another mister. Her details Hello, are below. Claire, darling. So um, how are you going to spend your inheritance? <laughs> I've already spent it. Oh, <gasps> damn. I purchase and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so Claire, um, I know you are doing uh, Fiona Flanger's show with Pepper and myself, we're doing it on the 11th of November. Yeah. So we're on yeah. Fiona's show, uh, the lovely Fiona. Um, where else could we find you? Well, I've got a couple of things coming up. I'm, on, um, I'm back on Cup of Tea with Tina D for a 70s edition. Um, I think that's on friday or thursday i'm not sure then i've got on saturday i'm on shunt of bothered and friends show and then i've got loose lips and then i've got another one people just keep messaging me and asking me to come on shows and i keep saying yeah but i'm forgetting where i'm at but and yeah, are, we I do still, know. <laughs> are we still doing a christmas show for you on the 18th of december yes indeed yes indeed i'm just finalizing a few more acts for that and then um i'll start getting groups together and stuff and start advertising amazing 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 so pippa and myself we're here every saturday night for our sins from a oh oh we've got a new time slot from next week mm -hmm. it's going to be from 7 30 until 9 will be the show and the pre-show will be from 6 till 7 and post show from 9 till 9 30. so we're actually trying to bring it forward slightly purely because a lot of our foreign viewers from South Africa are battling to be up at midnight watching us. And, and daylight saving as well, darling. Daylight saving, exactly. <laughs> so having gone back with the clocks. It gets too dark at night now. So it does. So it as does. of November, tonight was the last night at our original time slot. So we will be putting all that detail out there. But Pepper and myself are here Saturdays. Well. From next week, we'll be in different abodes Saturdays. 
I'm giving her a couple of months off to go and think about what she's done. And uh, then we are on Fiona Flanger's show. We are. And we are currently planning all our Christmas specials. Mm -hmm. But there will be lots of glitz and glitter. There's a fairies and angels evening. There's a silver and gold evening. Yes. There's a traditional Christmas evening with the tart in and all that jazz. So lots and lots coming up soon. I'd like to thank, we'd like to thank yes. all our guests for being here this evening. We'd also like to thank our fabulous audience mm -hmm. of accumulated persons. If you are able, please do like and share this broadcast with everybody far and wide. All our participants this evening have given of their time freely. Please do consider making a donation to their um, PayPal's or getting hold of them. A like and a follow is great. We're all mm -hmm. trying to do all sorts of social media to just keep the good energy and the lovely vibe going. And I'm blessed, we are blessed, to have such a group of sisters coming together and just really sharing our craft, sharing our love for makeup, for theatre, for all sorts of things. And uh, we hope that long may that continue with all our friends here this evening. So thank you very, very much, ladies. Much love to all of you. Um, if anyone wants to come to the after show, please do. Uh, you ladies have the passcode for the after show, and uh, we shall see you there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love to everyone. And with that, Bye, from darling. myself, we are going to thank everybody. Happy Halloween! Thank you, everybody. Happy Hello, Halloween. Queen special. Our first murder. Yeah. So, hello, queens. We will see you all in a minute. Take care of yourselves and each other. Look after yourselves. Much love. Okay. Bye.